Yeah, I felt he won the fight, uh, but I felt like he boxed poorly in the first half of the fight. So part of this started well, but I just didn't think he did enough in the early stages. But I had him, you know, I thought he won 9, 10, 11, 12. I had him 115, 113, but when it's 115, 113, you run the risk of it going the other way. And uh, I was surprised that the challenger got the decision, but congratulations to him and very disappointed for MJ. Did you think it was that close? I mean, we, we had it more in line with how Lisa Joppa had it, like wide. For MJ. for MJ, yeah. Yeah, I, I thought he won the fight. Maybe 116, 112, or 115, 113, but I just feel like in the first six rounds, he gave too many rounds away, probably up to the ninth round. You know, I probably had it, I don't know, through seven, like, 5-2 to Tapales or 4-3. Okay. And then I gave him literally every round from 9, 10, 11, 12, but I just felt like he boxed poorly in the first half of the fight. Uh, Tapales boxed well, but... He just didn't do enough, got his feet in position and didn't let his hands go. And in the 12th round, you could see when he let his hands go, he was hurting him badly. And that was really, that was even more frustrating. Eddie, uh, you also spoke with Prolongo, obviously the big news that he's going to be fighting in uh, June. He's looking really forward to being with the partnership, obviously being under match room. Uh, I also talked to him potentially in the near future to uh, fight with uh, Mugia. Yeah, great what fight. What do you think about the Yeah, I think, you know, first up, we got a, a guy who's, you know, around the top 15 in the world. He's fought for a world title. He just won last Saturday. It's Puerto Rico against Ireland. Edgar's been out for a year. I think he's the perfect opponent. But to get a fight with Canelo Alvarez, he's got to box a lot better opposition than Jason Quigley. But he's still the toughest opponent he's ever had in his career so far. But there's a lot of hype around Edgar Belanga. So I love the Jaime Munguia fight in October, November. I think it's a very tough fight, but it's a great fight as well at the same time. Um, but he's got to deal with Quigley. On, on June 24th at Madison Square Garden. It's going to be a big card, great atmosphere, and he's a big star, but he needs to put the performances to back it up. He keeps on manifesting that Canelo fight. He, yeah. just, he told me as well, he said, uh, I already oh, talked to my coach, what's going to come out to, where is it going to be, yeah. what I'm going to do, so he's manifesting. Yeah, listen, if he can get himself in position for that fight, it's a huge fight, but he has to knock out quickly, and then he has to knock out a, a higher level opponent later on in the year, and then, we can start calling out Canelo Alvarez. But like we always say, you have to earn your shot at Canelo Alvarez. You know, and, and he, hasn't, he hasn't anywhere near any shot. But dealing with Quigley in style will be the first step to that uh, on June 24th. I think, like every, I think Canelo always feels that as an opponent, you've got to bring something to the table or you've got to earn the right to fight. And at the moment, he hasn't fought anything for that. But this is the first step, and then he'll have to have a tough opponent. And when people start calling for that fight, that's when it will get on Canelo's radar. He's not looking at Edgar Valenga right now. He's looking at John Ryder and Dimitri Bivol. What about the response of the people who got sold out? Yeah, good. I mean, it's only small, you know, 2,600. You know, it's a bit out of town, but it's a nice size, good atmosphere. And, you know, fans have been filling it up now. And now we move to the unifications. Maybe we'll look into other arenas downtown and start growing that, that crowd as we get bigger fights. What's Bam's status when Bill has got here a little bit late when you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, he's broken the jaw, almost certainly. The doctors have confirmed that. And now he's, he's gone been rushed to the hospital. He's going to have to get that x-ray. I mean, super tough. Six, six rounds of fighting with that. And I said, the most impressive thing was how aggressive he was for those six rounds. Normally, if you break the jaw, you just sort of stay tight and win. But he was going for the knockout, going for the knockout. And hopefully, it's not too bad, but in that instance, almost certainly, it's an operation. And that will rule him out for several months. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Uh, Eddie, uh, you've talked about Conor Band coming to the United States. There are other states that might not commission him. Would you consider bringing him here to Texas? If yeah, absolutely. We, I mean, you know, Texas is, for me, one of the best commissions um, in, in, world, in world boxing, but definitely in America. I mean, we've done a number of fights here. We've done Canelo Alvarez fights here, two of them. They've been outstanding every time. Um, they've been fair, but they've been strict. And we have a great relationship with them. So, yeah, I, I don't see, I mean, you know, when we're looking at licenses for Conor Ben, this would be a credible commission to apply for one, and we'll see. And we love having you here. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you.